Hello everyone, it's been a few days since my last update, and I wanted to show you my Arduino sensor display unit in its full completion. Um, I've had a few problems with current sensor calibration, however those problems are finally solved, so this project is now ready to wrap up and show. Now a little bit about this project, it was born out of necessity. For a while now I've wanted to sense currents higher than 10 amps. For those of you that don't know, the standard method of sort of uh, sensing voltage and current while prototyping is just to sort of clip your multimeter in line using alligator clip leads or banana jumper cables into your circuit. Now most multimeters, in fact almost all of them, have a 10 amp maximum current sense range. That is probably one of the chief deciding factors in why I decided to build this. My current sensor can actually go up to 100 amps. Now that's also wiring limited but Again, 100 amps on the circuit board itself, I can actually sense how much current a large go-kart motor is using, for instance, uh, electric go-kart motor. So, uh, instead of um, also using uh, alligator clip leads, I'm also using uh, power pole cables and just trying to simplify setup and measurement whenever I run an experiment or prototype something you would have issues with uh, alligator clips touching, shorting out circuits, and just causing general mayhem on your test bench while you're trying to prototype something. Another problem is also that you're reading off of two different screens, things aren't properly labeled, you might get confused at the wrong time, or uh, simply different resolutions on different multimeters or different calibrations. Inconsistency in data is another problem, so I aim to solve all these problems with this unit. Now, underneath the hood here is an Arduino with uh, six inputs, six analog and six digital inputs. So far I'm only using the analog inputs, however, I do plan to also use some I squared C temperature sensors, but those are for the far future. I can actually sense two voltage and two current values using the sensors that I already have built, and up to 50 volts DC or 100 amps DC. Now, right now I have a DC power supply set to 13.7 volts, powering my ham radio. Right now the radio is on and is using about half an amp. One of the problems I encountered was that the current sense amplifier, which is a 50 volt per volt gain current sense amplifier, does not go rail to rail. It's a bit of a problem because I can't sense anything between 0 to about 5.5 amps, which I'll show you now. I'm using the Yesu FT857 connected to a dummy load, so not actually transmitting on the air. But right now I'm using about 4, four amps, and as I turn up the radio power, once I hit about 5.5 amps, starts to tip the scales here and you can actually see what current is being used. So if I go all the way up to 10 amps 10 amps, or just about 13 amps, which is well over what a uh, traditional multimeter could sense and this is also much safer because everything is uh, enclosed there's nothing to really get shorted out here. Now, besides that little issue with low current sensing. This thing is great for sensing anything over 10 amps, which you really can't do with a multimeter. But enough about what this actually does, just quickly peek under the hood. Right here I have six RJ11 jacks, each one supplying uh, 5 volts, a ground pin, and an analog pin, and a digital pin from this Arduino. This is a Duino stamp from a now defunct website this could just be a bare Arduino, in fact. I have an off-board power supply here, and I actually have a HD44780 uh, driven LCD screen. Also, this unit can be powered off a 9-volt battery, which is part of this enclosure, and I am currently powering this off of a uh, wall warp a DC power supply. problem with actually powering it off a 9-volt battery is once the voltage of the battery starts to drop, because this isn't a low dropout regulator, the 5 volt line that this is supplied with will actually start to drop. 
and at the same time that 5 volt reference will start to drop, causing your voltage readings to drift and increase, which is an unfortunate side effect. So my plans are to actually replace this with a low dropout regulator, pretty soon in fact, so I can actually run this in the field without any sort of power supply, and just clip my sensors in circuit and not have to worry about any sort of safety issues or uh, accuracy problems. And this unit is fairly accurate. It can only display um, up to one decimal point because I want to display uh, two sets of values. If I remove the second set of values and only sensed one, then I could actually have quite a fair bit of resolution down to, I think, 40 millivolts per division. Not 100% sure on that. Otherwise, this it's finally complete. It's treated me fairly well in the test bench already, just uh, being able to sense how much current my radio is drawing or a large DC motor. And I still need to enclose a few of these sensors and just pretty things up, some cosmetic touches. But here it is, it's complete. So in the future I will post a full build log, or maybe not a full build log, but just a little bit about it, and uh, enough for people to duplicate it if they're interested. So um, yeah. That's the Arduino sensor display unit with its current and voltage sensors. Thanks for watching.